Hello YouTube, this is January 22nd, 2018. I'm coming from your Earth watching Toledo, Ohio. It's been a while since I've made a video like this and what it comes down to is other people are making videos and they're pretty much catching the same things and there hasn't been a lot of overwhelming compelling evidence that I felt that was worth really making a video on until today and I scan these cameras frequently just see what's going on and I believe I finally caught us or ourselves our lensing system and I've caught it plain and clear and one of the reasons I believe it is is because I look at these cameras all the time and I never see these anomalies on it and then all of a sudden today they're here and as you can see I believe it's a lot larger than what we all thought it was there is lens here lens here lens here lens here as you can see there's an object of some sort here the light is escaping out from behind it but is obstructed here another one here completely around you can see it here and it's disturbing or disrupting the sun's rays here that's causing it there is a lens here and what makes me believe this is a hundred percent lens is because it's cut in half if you look at the bottom at the horizon there's half a lens if this was even from inside internal mirrors inside the camera, the housing, uh, something of that nature, I believe you would see this do exactly this. But you do not see it do that. So I believe this is pretty much 100% proof that it is part of a lensing system they have in space to either obstruct, magnify the sun, uh, make it so you can't see planets. I am not quite 100% sure because they won't give you that information these are all just theories based on a lot of people watching the skies now like right here you can see kind of a voided darked out circle here let's click a few frames and you can see they do not move lens flares move see here's one here's one there's one and as you keep looking you don't see them forming over the ground let's go back and like I said, anytime if you want, you can go look. This is just ff.gov, you know, the FFA cams. And this is Clark's Point South. You can go here yourself and look at any of these cameras. You know, like I said, I'm not doing any trickery or there's no Photoshop or anything like that going on. This is just me going to the website and fishing through cameras every day. But as you look, like I said, I'm going through the whole sequence. Don't see anything until the sun comes in. Then you start seeing the reflections of them. There's one. Another one. Another one. Just look at them. Alright, to the next camera we go. This one's pretty amazing myself, I think. Look at this. That is absolutely incredible. And you gotta remember, I'm looking at all these cameras, same time real time and if you look at the times in the cameras when I'm doing they're all approximately the same time you see the same anomalies on different cameras see these are awesome I mean they slowly just fade out but you can see they don't there's your little uh, projection Nigel shows this quite well he's got quite a few videos that's really good on this projection now and if you come here and then that channels Nigel knows everything he's pretty good and as you look here we come you can see it and this is what's projecting that image there and like I said this is probably one of the best days I've had when it's come look at it. it's acting up with the Sun too you know it's distorting the light like here's the Sun Alrighty, to the next camera. Here we are. And this is what I'd show you. You're getting yourself a nice rainbow flare here coming off the right side of the sun. And then you can see your like a lens flare object, darker circle here. And as you can see, same time frames as the other cameras. But as a lens flare, that big red ball doesn't just take off like that lens flare you just saw there. It pretty much is stationary as you can see one more camera for you tonight kind of making this quick video let's see where we're at on the slides we'll go backwards on this one 
we'll see what we can see. And you can see them around the sun. Watch real carefully on this one. Did you notice how hazy it is? And the cloud is just like a giant explosion of just white light that just bleeds down to the planet. That's not normal. No one ever let anybody tell you that's normal. They've got so many chemicals in the sky. It's just giant reflection now. Like I said, the more they can make their sun simulator up there glare, and the sun glare makes it harder to see out in the space and see what's there. Think of it as if you're inside your house and it's nighttime out and you can't see out and you have the lights on and you go to look outside, you can't see anything. Turn the lights out, you can see great. Well, they put the glare up so you can't see out. And as you can see, right there's one of the lenses right there. You can see the sun coming up on it. I still haven't figured out what to think of that black dot. If it's a camera overload or if it's actually something, because you can see, you see the black dot here. And the argument people have that if that was a camera overload, you'd see it here, but you wouldn't see it in the reflection. And you see it in the reflection also. So I'm not sure if this is the center of the sun simulator and the camera's pointing perfectly at it so you can see it, or this is just overloading the camera like when my drone looks at it and it just blacks out. But I will leave you with this tonight. Get right to that. <coughs> Excuse me. Just need to show you what I found. And I believe we're being deceived on a massive level with the chem trailing that they're spraying up in the skies that they now just openly admit to. Uh, they're just not admitting to the amount of it they're putting up there. And anybody can look up into the skies on a clear day and watch them turn it into the cloudiest, fogged over day that you can imagine. So, take a look at this picture close. I believe that's uh, showing us that they have that lens array in the sky. You all have yourself a blessed day. And please be prepared for what may come. You guys have a good night.